Sumi could only give Jenny a promise ring last season, but the couple decided to continue living together in India with the hopes of getting married. Jenny Slatten and Sumit Singh couldn't get married on 90 Day Fiancé, the other way season 2, but there is a chance they will tie the knot in season 3. The couple first appeared in the other way season 1. Since then, their potential marriage has been up in the air. Jenny and Sumit's relationship began on the internet when Sumit sent Jenny a friend request. To much surprise, the profile Sumit used to befriend Jenny wasn't genuine. The 32-year-old used a fake Facebook account to begin his relationship with Jenny. Sumit catfished Jenny under the persona of Michael Jones, a 25-year-old man from the UK. In reality, Sumit was a much older call center employee who was already married. Many 90 Day Fiancé fans called out Sumit for scamming Jenny. Some fans even think Sumit was looking to get a green card, especially since Jenny is over 62 years old and there's a 30-year age difference between them. But Jenny forgave Sumit for catfishing her and flew to India to meet him. Meanwhile, Sumit filed for divorce from his first wife, and things started to look up for the couple. Jenny had been waiting to marry Sumi since 2012, and a lot has happened since then. During 90 Day Fiancé, the other way season 2, the two got a new home and held a special Indian ceremony for good luck and blessings. Then, the couple met with a lawyer to discuss Sumit's divorce and their future together. While things seemed to be moving in the right direction, there were still big problems ahead for the couple. Due to Sumit's culture and traditions, he had to seek permission from his parents for the marriage. Jenny also found out Sumit's parents had the power to object to their marriage. If the parents did object, Jenny and Sumit could pursue an Arya Samaj marriage, a temple-based ceremony, and something his parents can't interfere with. Once again, Sumit confronted his parents, Sana and Anil, and talked to them about his wish to marry Jenny. His parents couldn't understand his motivations to marry an older woman and thought their son chose Jenny over them. Sumin had an emotional time explaining his previous marriage's troubles and pains, especially since his last marriage was arranged by his parents. He begged his parents to look at things from his perspective, but they refused. Still, they told Sumit they would try to accept his relationship with Jenny. Eventually, the time finally came for Sumit's divorce to be finalized. He had his father's support and shared the great news with Jenny over FaceTime. Despite the divorce, Sumit and Jenny's future marriage was still in question. Sana and Enil refused to accept Jenny as their daughter-in-law, and the conversation turned into an explosive argument. Sana threatened Sumit, saying she would commit suicide if he married Jenny. The couple failed to get married, but things still ended on a decent note in the last season. Sumi expressed his love for Jenny despite his parents' disapproval. After so many years, the 32-year-old professed his commitment to Jenny and gave her a promise ring. Even though it wasn't an engagement ring, Jenny was really happy. For now, it seems the two won't stop trying for their marriage. Perhaps, the tide might turn in their favor in 90 Day Fiancé, the other way season 3.